Hey, welcome back. Uh, Ashley at allthingsdentistry.com. I'm just about to submit this lab prescription for a uh, cast partial denture uh, for this patient. And I just wanted to go over drawing and a couple key concepts that uh, were brought to my attention just recently. Um, this patient here, the edentulous ridge is here and also uh, we're missing a tooth here. Now, when you're designing, and I always, you know, I left dental school and I forgot how to design an RPD. And I would just, use what existed. Well, in this case, nothing exists. So this was a really good learning experience for me. Um, apart from uh, using an RPI, uh, mesial, mesial rest, proximal plate, and eye bar, in this case here, uh, and direct retainers, one of the big concepts that I had to relearn was indirect retention. Now, the most posterior um, rest seats will be right here, which creates our fulcrum. So essentially, we've got a type 1 lever or a sexy name type 1 lever or essentially a seesaw that's going to be back and forth when this patient's uh, partial is in, his, in her mouth. And let's just see it from here. So she puts her partial in and every time she bites down, the, the distal extension base uh, gets pushed down and then as she bites up on a bolus of food, it moves up. So to prevent that uh, upward movement or away from, away from her uh, soft tissue, we're going to put an indirect reten retainer in there. And that is typically perpendicular to this fulcrum line. So I mean we could have done it to the lateral, but that's not cool, or the sort of this area. So I elected to choose the canine. And it's, we placed, uh, I kind of overdid it. Uh, I wanted to make sure that we had some sort of rest seat um, here, and this is what I came up with. Now, in hindsight, I probably would have just built this up in composite. You can see the original cast here. Built it up in composite and used that uh, just as its rest seat. But here we are, so this is my indirect retainer. <coughs> Now drawing, just really quickly because I'm looking at the time, it's two minutes, and here's the existing drawing. Now typically what I was taught uh, a couple of weeks ago was to start with your rest seats. So 12, you've got it right there. This is an RPI, so mesial rest. Here's the distal extension. We've got an I bar. So let's go uh, start with all the rests. Let's draw on the rests. Go. Okay. And then we're going to bring this across from here. Gonna come around. Then we're gonna go over the dental ridge. Come around like this. This is gonna join it. We're gonna have some sort of linkage. And remember that everyone has their own way of doing things. It is amazing. So this is just only one way to pick an apple. How about that? And then we're going to have our eye bar, which is going to come back just for some flexibility. It's going to come back. Uh, flexibility meaning coming. It's it's not going to be to be cast further back in the framework. And this is going to need to engage. An 01 undercut. And then this is a bracing arm, there's no undercut here. And then we have a distal buckle undercut here. And then we join these two because we want a denture tooth there, some framework. And we're just going to plate all of these. Because as my instructor says, my mentor says, the lettuce catcher is reduced instead by plating it. And that's just been his experience. Now this little thing here is a finish line for the acrylics going to meet the metal. I'm going to go like this. Oh, of course. And we're going to plate the side of this. There we go. And it looks about right. We're just going to color it all in. Okay. So essentially that is, in a nutshell, how uh, one way of drawing a, uh, a partial denture. Now, it may seem common sense, but I'm telling you, 
you don't do lots of these you're going to forget so that's all for today i uh, hope it helps in the future take care